Hi, I am Sinunera Sina. Welcome back to this Gaia One Complete. We're on episode 8, so let's just start. Uh, well, let's just start the episode and then I'll explain what's still going on. Dear sirs and madams, I hope these dark days find you well. However, I, Laharl, am deeply concerned with the state of the netherworld. I am well aware that unnecessary bloodshed is not your desire. Therefore, I am writing to propose a formal challenge. An event with my father's title at stake. The title of Overlord. Fancy. The rules are simple. On Cursed Day, in the month of the Adder, I shall journey to the heart of evil, carrying with me the official deed. The one who wrests the deed from my hand shall be recognized as the new Overlord. In the event that I reach my destination still in possession of the deed, I shall assume the position myself. To those with great ambition, I encourage you to participate. Sincerely, Prince Lahar. What do you think? Excellent penmanship, huh? Actually, yeah. That, that, that sounds pretty formal, like, I mean, coming from Lahar, yeah, I'm impressed. Y yes but according to the Netherworld calendar, isn't today the designated day? That's right. I've ordered the printies to spread copies of this letter all over the Netherworld. Uh, I don't remember if, uh, like, any other dates have been mentioned on the later Disgaea games, but I'm interested in knowing uh, like, how the calendar in the Netherworld works. Netherworld. The calendar in the Netherworld works. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you know, this practicing. The demons aiming to become Overlord are probably lying in ambush right now. Um, Prince, is this offer open to anyone? Are you an idiot? <laughs> Don't you get it? There's no deed for the position of Overlord. <laughs> Can you mind that? <laughs> huh? This is a trap. Look at what's happened recently. I thought that I might as well get rid of anyone still planning to claim the throne. I mean, he doesn't look it, but actually Lahar is pretty, pretty smart. Like, that's a pretty smart plan if you consider that he has been, like, getting into traps and ambush ever since he woke up. Oh, I see. And when I've defeated them all, I will be the unquestioned overlord! <laughs> <laughs> Episode 6, Laharl's Challenge la, 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 la. <laughs> Alright, so last episode I mentioned that the only way I could, you know, level grind was by pausing the, uh, the recording and then, you know level grinding off screen but then i realized i already already had the solution and i actually applied it before and i totally forgot the only thing i need to do is start the episode like this so actually first of all no one is here now i guess they want to ambush me oh yeah yeah actually yeah, I think, what else are they going to do? Uh, let's see... Yeah, no one at all. I mean, they are here because they need to be here, but... Good morning, Prince. Morning. Uh, is it me or am, I, or am I missing vassals? Do not worry, they are waiting to ambush you at Blair Forest, Prince. Those idiots! So yeah, this is the new area, the, the Blair Forest, you know, the the witch of the Blair Forest. Anyways, so what I did was, in my off time, start the the episode. I mean, the in-game episode, not this one. Start the episode, go to the item world, level grind, get some goodies. So as you can see, these are my levels, like from the last episode. Alright, nothing like new here. That's the, the way we were before we finished. 
And now I'm going to show you where I am now. Let's continue. So as you can see, this is the save from the last episode. We had 19 hours of gameplay. In this one, we already have 23. So yeah, I've been playing uh, like I was in the item world for like four hours, and that's what and that was only like 20 floors from two different items. So yeah, 10 and 10. And if we check now, so yeah, now everyone you know is more up to the challenge. And I got a new member. This is Janet. Remember, like, way back on during the first episode when I told you, like, I was going to make a fire mage and name her Janet, but then I decided against it. And now that I realize, I think I, I, I wrote the name wrong. It's supposed to be with a Y, I think. I don't know. I will have to check my PS2 save out, which I still have, but you know, I will have to set the PS2 and <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of busy work that I don't need to do just for days. Anyways, I got her, I actually captured, you know, uh, an Ekomata and an Empusa from that, uh, I didn't really level them up that much, Hogmeister to level up a little, uh, you know, you already know Jack, I captured just uh, other two. And I think that's everything you need to know. Medeiras, uh, I mean, I'm not planning to level up Hogmeister or Medeiras either. The game made it look like they were going to become, you know, members of my party like Flon and Edna, but no. They are just there. They don't participate during cutscenes or anything. Aside from that, uh, I think they are just like, you know, normal demons. They may have, like, somewhat better stats than the usual... The usual demons of their classes, but eh... Monsters are not that good in here. Anyways, let's go to the area. The Blur Forest. The Calamity Woods. Oh, by the way, I got new equipment. Don't worry, you will see what I have. Hey! Yes? I encourage everyone to participate, but... <laughs> oh, I love this level. Isn't this a bit much? The more the merrier, they say. Flon, when it comes to sayings, you're all dumb, thumbs. <laughs> you're not much better. Anyways, what are we going to do about these guys? There is not even room to walk! Looks like we're going to have to take them on one by one. Oh great, I can't wait to see what's after this. So yeah, don't worry, they are, you know, super weak. If you remember, like, last episode, the enemies were... I think the strongest one was Mederas, who was ne level 19, and then the Empusas, and the Necomatas, who were like 14 or 15, so, yeah. Now, it's a good thing, you know, they put it this way, so you can just place your stronger, strongest unit in here, maybe some healers back here. Never, never let them, you know, like, don't, don't do this, don't just place a character and just let them, you know, swarm you, because you're going to lose, even if they are weak. You are not going to have much room, uh, breathing room. I mean, you don't have you don't have it already, so be careful with that. Now, in case you want to throw someone here, that's why they leave this space. You can throw like two people, but nah, like we're we're okay the way we are here. They actually don't have equipment, so yeah, they are not dangerous at all. No one, no one has equipment. So this is just a gag level, I would say. Oh, by the way, uh, I got like better equipment for Edna, so at least her attack is not trash anymore. But I actually want to train Flony here. I got the Holy Arrow spell. Target height problems? How? Oh. Oh, that's pretty stupid. 
Oh no. So yeah, she has to. Okay, new plan. Oh yeah, it not got finally her sexy beam. So you you know you can re get rid of some enemies like this. And the asteroid dropped from the lands, but I can use that here. Oh, just let me change the settings yet to turn off the animations for the attacks. Uh, so I wanna clear the way, at least I wanna, you know, kill this one. Okay, he's weak to ice. I'll try to clear as much as I can. Oh, by the way, something I haven't mentioned. Janet is actually not an apprentice of Laharos, she's an apprentice of Katrina. So, yeah, uh, I I use Janet to teach Katrina the fire spell, as you can see now I have Mega Fire. Dead, dead, dead. Oh wow! I need to, yeah, get better intelligence, I guess. Let's try with Flon now, let's see if the attack works now. Okay, now it works. Yeah, too bad. Yeah, it doesn't work at this height. Hopefully... No, I'm not, not, not going to leave it to chance. Like, It's based on intelligence. That's great. I can use you as the mages. But I'm going to do it from a distance. I don't want to risk it. To use magic boost. All right, she has to be in here. Yeah, I wanna get kills on Flon. Uh, for I need her to get end of mana to create a new unit, and I'm going to show you. I unlock something new. Great. Okay, that's great. So, if you don't know how mana works, you get the equal amount of mana. You get mana equals to the level of the monster you kill. So, I kill two, two, two level 12 monsters, that means I get 24 mana. Which is great, that makes me a little closer to my goal. Now, as for Lahar, you're not Lahar. I got the Obelor's Rat, that's a new attack. It's one of my favorites. I always like that animation where he has, you know, a lot of small attacks and then like the camera just uh, goes around it and finally the attack crashes. Okay, now I can use Edna. I'm gonna use the Asteroid Drop, but I need to know I need to gain some distance. Oh, I'm being blocked. Oh, that's too sad. Yeah, I can use it here, but you know, I was I want to do more damage. Anyways. Okay, I was just checking uh, if we were recording. Yeah, because you know what happened like last time. Now I could use, you know, the Nekomata. I mean, I already have her here, so I might as well. And then Pusa. They are not the best. But they, they get the job done, you know? And that's what's important at the end of the day. Wait, your throw... Oh, your throw is just fine. Maybe I can summon the Dark Cannon? Oh, but I need, you know, space to use on a... Yeah, and your throw isn't better either. Nah, I think that's okay. That's enough units I'm going to execute. So I read something interesting on the on the Disgaea wiki. 
Do you remember last episode when we captured, you know, the Nekomata and the Pusas? And do you remember what happened to my panel that it disappeared because we didn't manage to to capture one of them? According to the wiki, uh, that counts as an ally kill since uh, it was one of my allies who throw the the enemy in the panel. So there is a chance that we may have unlocked the bad ending of the game. Ooh, yeah. And if we did... Yes! Oh wow, that's... That was pretty great! So yeah, that's what a, a, a Dark Cannon uh, with a good level can do when you are, you know, a little more powerful than the enemies. In this case, no one is equipped with anything. And I got the, like, you know, the best weapons I could get from the Iron World. Oh yeah, uh, as I was saying... Wait, what was I saying before then? I totally forgot. Oh yeah, the, about the ally kills. Uh, the the wiki wasn't specific because there uh, a lot of things were patched for this this, this Gaia One complete version of the game. Some things were changed, like sprites and, and some gameplay tweaks. They added quality of light improvements and things like that. But yeah, if they didn't change that, that means we're going to unlock the normal ending. Another thing that counts as an ally kill is throwing prinis, and you remember that I did that like to show you how it worked. So yeah. Uh, there is a small chance uh, that that happens. Ooh, this is great. Okay, yeah, I, I like this. Let's try it. Uh, before that, I'm going to, you know, just do a magic boost. Increasing Tolins temporarily, max 2. That doesn't mean you, you only can use 2 to, to, uh, magic boosts. No, no, no. It means you can only, like, uh, double your intelligence. So, Flon should be, like, 600 and something, I think. Another thing they improved was the fact that uh, healers can level up by healing instead of having to attack. That's why Flon could level up and I was surprised. Because in the first game that didn't happen. This is a quality of life improvement. Yes! Okay, I don't know if killing the... I don't think so. Like, killing the cannon was an ally kill because it was an ultra unit. Okay, let's attack. This guy will paralyze me. He's about to die. And let's use the Nekomata to finish this. No, you know what? I'm not going to use the Nekomata. For that, I mean. I'm going to use her to finish up, you know, healthier enemies. You're weak to win and you're weak to ice. Okay. Oh wow, I ran... Oh, it's because I, I used the magic boost, right? I was like, I already ran off SP. Uh, why nothing happened to you? Oh, it's because I haven't executed the attack. Right, right. Here you go. Now I can move. But I don't have anyone who can throw, like... Uh, so I'm going to use Edna. You know, I just want to train my mages. Here you go. Uh, I hate when the... When the... Uh, the recording does that, you know, crunchy noise with the audio. That's from the PC, I mean. Huh, I used Mega Fire. I, I wanted to use Giga Eyes, but I wasn't paying that much attention. Oops. Okay, I'm going to move the thief a little. Lahar and Edna are okay in there. Well, I'm going to move Lahar. 
because I want to protect the mages of like this. Oh, I can just go back. Great. You get behind this. Uh, yeah, like that. I hate it when that happens when the your ally survives, but you know, the poison or some other condition kills it. That sucks. Okay, I wanna use the arrows on these two. Also, my intelligence is pretty high right now. I think I can do it this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just throw, you know, this guy over there. And there we go! There we go, I needed that. Now let's kill this one. Ooh, he's weak to fire. So, you know what to do. No, wait, I'm going to use you. Here you go. At this point, I don't need to work for the bonus on the regular missions. Oh, another orb. Because, you know, I already have the items I got from the item world. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, you know what? I'll be right back. Oh, ha! Huh. There we go. Oh, and it has good SP and resistance. It has two masters. I think masters increase, like, SP and... Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. I can equip this to Flon. She wait, she has the moon or um, Yeah, um, let's see if this is better. Yeah, but it reduces her intelligence. Uh, I could take away the Imperial Seal, but that also reduces my intelligence. And everything else, actually. Or the shoes, but you know, I, I like to have the extra movement. And I think I'm going to give it to one of the mages. Oh, wait! Speaking of mages, yeah, that's the thing I was trying to remember. So yeah, as you can see, I have a lot of mana for all, from all the enemies I've been killing. Freya has mana because, you know, she, she has been taking cheap shots at weakened enemies, the same as the mages, especially Katrina, who was supposed, you know, to be uh, uh, this really weak mage with Maid of the Star, but she ended up being so useful that I cannot get rid of her. Everyone else is, you know, so-so. But yeah, Flon. So, once you get any mage, I, I thought you had to get all three of them. Into level 20, you just got to, to you just have to get one of them to level 20. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. You unlock the star mage who has better stats and has access to the star magic. Wait, I need 300. Oh, I thought I needed 200. Oh, okay. Better, like better units need more, more mana. Okay, I, I'm going to. I want this to be a surprise, but. Yeah, I, I better, you know, I'm not that far from 300, so I, I would I would do better if I do that first. Oh, also I upgraded, you know, my weapon catch a little. Not by much. At least, uh, like, Flon has attack now, so... Okay, we can give the orb to... Uh, yeah, actually it gives her a lot of SP, maybe I should give it to Katrina. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to give it to Katrina, because she's like my strongest mage right now, let's see. Actually, Saria is my strongest mage right now. 
But she doesn't have as many magic as Katrina, so Katrina it is. I mean, I can do this, but you know, my defense plummets and they are very squishy as it is. I'm gonna reduce my... Uh, yeah, I can, I can take that. That reminds me, do I have a better stat than this? I need to buy one. Oh, also, yeah, I have a lot of money right now. For the same reason I already mentioned. That I don't want No, I need something better. Yeah, more to stuff. There we go. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, where are you? Yeah, this is better. I mean, it reduces my SP a little, but that was, that's okay, I don't mind. Uh, everyone else, you know, just has hand-me-downs. Or things I found on the item world. And of course, Lahar, Edna, and Flon have, you know, the best I can get. I need to level up the Devil Ring, I think that's what I'm going to do next, you know, between episodes. There is no need to, like, level up any of those items that you get past floor 10, because you're, you're still going to get better emblems the more you keep healing. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, I remember this one! I have been waiting for the Toar Lord Lahar Art Not Thou. I'm very sorry, I'm very bad at reading, like, old, old English. Oh! She seems to be a lot more serious than the last bunch. She does not appear to be an ordinary sourcewoman, how exciting! My name is Sardia, the Demon Slayer. My Sora hat slayed over 2,000 demons! Incredible! Or was it under 2,000? Which is it? When I swing get my sword, the air shall turn be torn asunder. Amazing, the air splits open. Perhaps. <laughs> Make up your own mind, damn it. What dost thou think? How should I know? Trying to make a fool out of me, I'll make you moan in pain. Prince. Did you mean to say a screaming pain? <laughs> yeah, I think that's just her. You can steal those if you want. Which actually I'm going to do. I mean, I have the means to. And I should be able to at this point. Ooh, I only have three plunder hands. Yeah, I can, I can steal that, no problem. Now, what I need to do first is, you know, try to attract her, lure her, yeah, like that. As you can see, she can damage me that much, so... I am afraid she, she may be able, you know, to damage uh, Freya. Oh, I can steal her speed too, but I want, you know, the great sword. So what I'm going to do, yeah, is have someone else hold her. If she kills me, that's okay. I mean, that was a good hit. If, if she wasn't, you know, the the fighter brawler, she wouldn't be able to survive that. Oh come on! I just want your sword, lady. Okay, I need to throw... Oh yeah, I can throw Flon. She doesn't have the best defense. No, actually, yeah, she's pretty weak. So I'm going to throw Edna again. Uh, oh, it's because I move Edna. I'm such a dumbass. 
that's it. And I just take you and finish. She has a lot, she has like a good amount of SP, but I can survive that for as long as it's needed. I will get that. I mean, I know you think you uh, I can, but I will. I'm talking to the game, not to you. <laughs> she may be able to kill Flon. <laughs> well, almost. Like, yeah, if she's capable of killing someone like the Brawler, I think, like, my TF is going to be in danger. So, what I'm going to do... Yeah, something like this. Oh, I cannot use my... Oh, it's because I already threw... Alright, I'll, I'll just use... Uh... Oh, wait, I don't have, like, healing items. Oh, I can use this one. Okay, use Blade Rush. Oh, or Wing Cutter. That was close. I don't know why I can. I mean, you, you have seen me trying to steal stuff before. Uh, with no problem at all. So to stop her from, you know, bothering me that much, I'm just gonna grab her. I mean, it's, this is going to kill Jack. But, you know, it saves me the damage I, I usually take. There we go. Now let's see if this great sword is better than my psychic sword. Where are you? No, it's not. Because it, the taser sword, which is also like... It sucks a lot more than the Psychic Sword is in there, so time to kill her! Wait, no, I don't want to place one like that. I just want to do this, move you here, there we go. Wait, I think I just... I just messed up. I may kill Edna. Yeah, I think I may, I may kill Edna by accident. If I do, I will have to restart. So I will have, you know, to... Uh, pause the video and come back. Damn it! I'm very sorry. So I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll be right back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. I didn't mean to jail. Ah, <laughs> uh, god, jeez. It's a good thing this game has autosave. Uh, that actually just took me a few seconds. I just need to... I just quit. And then go back to the main screen. And then just reload the autosave, which, which saved like... You know, before I started the level, so... <sighs> But now I know I just need to kill her, so this is going to be much, much faster. Sorry for wasting your time. Oh uh, no, Edna doesn't have like many attack stats. Are you are weak to fire? Okay, this is a fire attack, so I can use it. Now, Sardia is what's known as a Magic Knight. In this case, it says Demon Slayer, but this is actually a class you can unlock. As the name implies, like, Magic Knight, she can use... She can learn, like, certain tier of spells, and also has good attack and defense. It's not a class that I use that often, but I wish I could. Like, Hybrid classes are always one uh, the ones I really like, but I don't usually use because I prefer, you know, pure blood classes. Still, I think they are really, really cool.
We said you were weak to fire, so... I need more reach. Also, I'll, I'll be sure to add a warning about me gelling on the video description. <laughs> By the way, uh, keep in mind that stealing like items from the enemies is, is a very good idea. Besides, I mean, getting new items because you are actually like crippling them. It's not in uh, like other RPGs when you just steal items, but nothing happens. You just get the item. In this case, uh, their stats their stats get lowered because of the you know of the missing weapon you just took away from them. Hopefully this will kill her, but just to be sure... Wait. Alright, yeah, I'm going to summon the cannon again. I love using that cannon, where are you? Did I already...? Uh, I'm very confused. Where is Jack? Oh, wait, I know what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. now I know what happened. Uh, it's because, like, the last autosave was from the last level. But I didn't went to the hospital, so that, that should mean, like, you shouldn't have, like, the orbs equipped. Yeah, there we go. So I I'll need to do that once we get out of here. I'll just leave the Nekomata in here, just in case. Those two are dead. So, so dead. Oh, well. One survived. Alright, so now the question is who get, who's getting the experience? So I guess wrong because what we mentioned before. Alright, so... You have that much. Okay, I'm gonna magic boost and then use the arrows. I think it was here. Yeah. Alright. Magic boost. This should be able to kill her. And if not, I'll just hold her with Lahara and then, you know, kill her the next turn. Because I really want, you know, that mana on front. <laughs> there we go. Oh, she also leveled up for realsies. So, yeah, it's a good thing we have the auto saves. Well, first let's heal. Now we claim more prize. Come on. You can skip this if you want. Actually, I'm going to pause it because it may take. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> Well, this one is a little more, you know, it's not like the other one, but at least it has some intelligence. So maybe we can give it to Flon now. Yeah, now it's better than the Moon Orb. Also, I saw some other orb. Let me just... Yeah, the Star Orb. I mean, the Moon Orb in this case is better, so... Okay, let's give you this. And you are going to... Yeah, this one. And is this one better? Yeah. 
And finally you... Uh, yeah, this one is better. And like this... Yeah, I think it's, it doesn't look like so bad. Oh, also, yeah, uh, Janet needs a new staff. Come on, more to the staff. There we go. And it has some resistance to it, that's okay. Here you go, more to the staff. This is... Uh, it gives her more HP and resistance. And it takes away some of the defense. Uh, but the full cut still is a... Yeah, it's a good armor, yeah. a slightly better gun although it takes away some uh, speed so yeah no I'll just leave the ion AK ninja I'll give her oh this one this wolf uh, better than the gorilla food I don't think so uh, no the gorilla food it's better yeah sometimes it's good idea to you know just give your Remaining equipment to... Ooh, this is a good amount of HP. To your weaker units, just in case you need a mid shield. I think everyone is, you know, well armored. Okay, let's go to the next one. Huh? Prinnies? What are you doing here? We thought we might as well give it a shot, dude. <laughs> I can blame them, <laughs> really. What? You're not allowed to pull off a coup d'etat without me. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm the one who's supposed to kill the prince. Etna, it might not be such a good idea to announce that in front of the person in question. That's a pretty good life advice in general. We know a head-on attack is suicide, dude. Hmm. You have a plan then? That's right, dude. All right, let's go, dude. I don't remember what they did. Oh, now I do. We challenge you to a game. Dude. <laughs> Play ball! I just love the reaction of the harnet. Etna. Yes. Kill him. Certainly. <laughs> Straight into the point. Now, as you may have remembered, Prinis are highly volatile. I mean, the level is not even trying to. To pretend they are not, so the only thing you need to do is take someone. I would rather prefer if they were, you know, more prinis in here so you could use, you know. But that gives me another idea. Yeah, let's do it again. 
Let's choose a Dark Cannon. Yeah. Yeah, so Prius exploded automatically with the Dark Cannon, I think. You can attack your units if you want, although, you know, it's not a good idea. Hopefully I didn't kill anyone, let's check. Yeah, no. Flon barely lost, like, yeah, she just lost 10 HP. Who was the other one out? Edna? No, it was... Ah, that doesn't matter. We are okay. We can't even check in the hospital if someone is dead. Uh, yeah, it attacked Jack. Yeah. Everyone is okay. Although, don't quote me on the Dark Cannon killing the Prinis automatically. I don't remember it correctly. But as you saw... But I think it's because I was just stronger. That, that was all. Oh, that's a big fella. Kid, are you Krachevskoy's son? Who are you? Me? I am the overlord of an alternate netherworld. Now, that's a plot point that is more elaborated uh, on other games. That there exists uh, like alternate netherworlds. And each one has an overlord or multiple ones. An alternate netherworld? That's right. I tried taking over this world before, but Krichevskoy got him away. Now that he's dead, I'll claim it for my own. You are just one of the overlords that I will crush on my way to becoming the supreme overlord. Beauty boy. What you see before you represents only a fraction of my power. Well, that's really hard to tell since I can only see part of you. <laughs> yep, you're just too big. Fine. If it's size you're concerned about, I can make adjustments. But even so, a horrible death still awaits you. Feel my wrath. Here I go. I would if the voices weren't so ridiculous. Don't worry. Splitting into ten means that his love is divided ten ways. We cannot possibly lose to someone like that. Ooh, Flan's burning with determination. You like this stuff, don't you? <laughs> yes, I love this stuff. Now let's go, everybody! Yeah, Flan uh, is like... A fan of stories like that, uh, for example, shonen animes. She likes Super Sentai, especially. She likes it that a lot. Now, this music is actually reserved for like the the uh, the after the post game bosses. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see. This, uh, this one is, this guy is pretty powerful. You can defeat them, but right now it's not possible for me. I could go to the, I mean, you can go to the item world before entering this stage and do it. Like their stats, yeah, even, I can damage them, of course, look. This is my best attack. And that's good damage and all, but yeah, they still are going to kill me. So better finish this quickly. You are supposed to lose this battle. You can win it, as I mentioned, but. What I could have done is use the three mages to brave hard boost the Harald. But even then, I don't think the damage would have gone like 
that high of maybe 500 at best. I don't remember what happens if you win, uh, because sometimes in these Gaia games when you win an unwinnable battle, you unlock alternate endings. And I'd rather not do that because I will have, you know, to run through the start of the game all over again. I will keep my levels and all, but still. Yeah, I just look. Oh, by the way, this monster is a monster you can to totally unlock in game. It's a, it's just a, a regular mob. They aren't, they aren't even like damaging themselves. Ah, his love is divided ten ways. Yeah, sure. That was a big help, you loony angel. Huh? That's odd. Isn't there a, isn't the hero supposed to win? Uh, we're demons, not heroes. <laughs> if my power is divided, an overlord is even if my power is divided, an overlord is still an overlord. It wouldn't matter how many puny boys like you there were, I'd crush them all. I thought the son of Krichevsko would be a lot tougher, but I guess I was wrong. Damn it! Taipong, say hello to Puchepsko in hell! Wait just a minute! Oh, it's my vassals! J you guys? Who are you? We are the loyal vassals of King, King Krichepskoy. You dare to set food in our world? We will defeat you in the name of the late king. Huh. Prince, let us handle this. We've been waiting here just in case our, 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 our help was needed. Liars. You are here to ambush the prince just like the others, isn't that right? Uh, 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 of course not! Uh, come now! Look! Lo looks like you hit the nail on the head! Why is that I don't even have any luck with vessels? Come now! We were here to help you in the new time of need, right? Only because you were waiting to ambush me! Hey, quiet! Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, quit ignoring me! I'll send you all to join Krichevskoy. Prepare yourselves! Huh, don't underestimate us. We will defeat you in the name of Overlord Krichevskoy. Yeah! Uh, so yeah. As you can see, these guys, like... Have very high levels and their stats are, like... Super, super, super strong. So, no need to worry about anything. And everyone has recovered. So, you just need, you know, to leave the heart in here, defend, and, leave, and let them do their work. Maybe I can kill this one? Maybe?
I want to kill with Flon, you know, for <laughs> besides experience. Okay, almost dead. Yeah. Okay, uh, I feel like I can kill it with, you know, holy arrows. Let me just check how much resistance he has. He has a lot of resistance. Actually, a little more than his attack. But I'll try it anyway. I'll boost. That's why I didn't boost Lahar's attack, because I want to use my mages to, you know, uh, boost Flon instead. Let me just check, like, the distance I need for Holy Arrows. Alright. Right about... here. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you get killed, your vassals will finish the, the job. As long as you don't, you know, get everyone in your party killed. You will be okay. Hopefully this kills him. Although I have an another idea. If I use a dark cannon, maybe I will be able. Yeah. Okay, just get close enough. Okay. Great. All right, now I can lose. Oh, I'm gonna be attacking Lahar, good thing I pay attention. That does not repeat the same mistakes from the last time. Here we go. Come on, we just need to damage it a little. Yeah! Okay, I think I would have... Oh, wow! Yeah, I have flown jumping levels a lot! Oh yeah, she has poison arrow because I equip her with an, like, uh, a bow. But yeah, oh wow! Well, I, I was about to say her intelligence is very high, but it's because of the, you know, intelligence boost I gave her. Alright, uh, now let's... Uh, let's, or, let, let's, let, or, vassals do the job. Yeah, that's the, what I was trying to say. Uh, just checking, uh, no, nothing, like, good. And turn. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, only one alive. Hopefully they leave you, you know, alive so I can kill him for the experience. Oh. Oh well. We will be returning to the castle now. Take care, Prince. Thank you, guys. It was a great help, actually. They are actually pretty strong. A wise falcon hides its talons. That saying fits perfectly. I wish they would stop hiding their talons when it comes to working for me. Yeah, it would be pretty nice if, you know, I could use them. I mean, eventually we'll get like pretty strong, like maybe stronger than them. But I don't know if we're going to do it in this playthrough. But yeah, good for Flon, just look at her, she's, she's like a higher level than Lahar now. So yeah, if you see like the opportunity to take a cheap shot, always take the cheap shot. Most of the time you won't regret it. Her intelligence is pretty high. Yeah, and her resistance is even, is even higher. Yeah, that's great. Okay, let's go to the... Well, before going to the next level, I'm going to actually make, you know, an additional save. I'll do it in here. 
just in case. Night Dwellers. Oh, I remember this. We've been waiting for you, demons. Yeah. When the darkness of evil draws near, we appear out of nowhere. The three lights of justice save the world with courage and hope. <laughs> Together, we are the Prism Rangers. Like that last guy, <laughs> the yellow guy. He sounds like me, like like. Uh, with the same microphone and everything. Like, not my voice tone. Please, someone normal come out. But the the microphone like quality. Cool. Just what I was saying about the Super Sentai heroes. Hey, Edna, how about we do our own poses? Are you serious? You better believe it. A question? Go ahead, shoot! You call yourselves Prism Rangers, but you only have three colors. That's not even enough for a rainbow. Ah, oh, that's pretty sad. Isn't it obvious? We don't have any friends. Yeah. Being a hero is a lonely existence. You got it? Are you sure there's not another reason why you don't have any friends? <laughs> you guys are heroes, aren't you? Why would you want to be Overlord? We want friends, of course! If we become the Overlords, then we'll have tons of friends! And the Prism Rangers will have all the colors of the rainbow! Here we go! Blue! Yellow! Transform! Bang! <laughs> Blue! Yellow! Oh, this can't be happening! Oh, that's really funny. Blue and yellow have been shot! I can't transform on my own! Curse you! Shooting before we even have a chance to transform! How inconsiderate! Are you demons? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh! I completely forgot about that! You idiot! <laughs> Is your helmet on too tight? Probably. You should have transformed first, then come out. Yeah! That's not how it's supposed to be! A true defender of justice transforms in front of the enemy! On. Which side are you on? Then I'll just have to play my ace card. The demons I hired will help me. That's really sad. Is it okay for a hero yeah. to be using demons? Of course. Justice must never lose, no matter what the means. Blue, yellow, your deaths have awakened a burning passion in my heart. Uh, I avoided hitting any vital spots, so they should still be alive. Evil fiends. Are you ready? Face the power of justice! Yeah, so warp just, you know, warps you to a random location in the map where the geo panel is in effect, like at the end of the turn. So yeah, that's the only gimmick of this map, so don't worry. Oh yeah, the Prism Rangers are treated as monsters, that's so weird. I think on later games they are treated, you know, as, as humans, so they can use weapons and all. But yeah, also don't worry, eventually they do get all the colors of the rainbow. They do some pretty crazy stuff with the Prism Rangers, I, I, <laughs> I love them. Alright, oof. I don't know, like... Our where to start. Also, I forgot that Flon killed the monster, so now I have enough mana. I need to check on that. But first, let's, you know, get rid of these, these guys. I need more reach for that. Oh wait, of course. The Geo Cannon. But first let's do the, the other stuff. Oops, me. Me. Ah! Trick. 
funny how I was complaining about the Geo Cannon, but it has, you know, shown to be like one of the best weapons we have available. Yeah, just look. Ah, it's too bad, you know. Oh, wait. Oh, it has it had good reach. Also, the Geo Cannon level up, so. Yeah, that just makes it more dangerous. Alright, we got rid of, you know, everything in here. The Geo Cannon is going to, to warp around, so. We don't have to fear it as much. So I'm just gonna leave the heart, whatever. You don't need, you know, to position your allies during uh, this stage because there is no point to it. Just leave them whenever. Wherever, I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna leave, you know, one there. Ouch! See? Where is the cannon? That's the thing that worries me the most. Oh! Okay, yeah, I think I can finish them off. Oh, I'm asleep. Oh, that's bad. Ah, it's a good thing you are here. This way I can just Giga Wings. There we go. And just in case you survive, Mega Fire should finish you up. As for you, you are weak to ice, so I can use the yeah, three birds. There we go. think that's going to survive. Oh, right, you. I guess I can... Maybe he survives all three bursts. I'll just whack you with my staff. No. Wait, no, that, that, uh, I would like get in the way of the martial artist brawler thing. I could destroy the, the Geo symbol and then disgrace in it, but nah, I prefer it this way. Oh yeah, I wasn't able to attack because the heart was in the way. So I guess I'll just use Prini Raid. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can maybe reach you with this, maybe. Nah. Oh well. Oh yeah, defense. With the wind. Uh, oh, here you are. Oh, now I'm closer, which is why you know I'm. I never try to deactivate the warp. Sometimes you get pleasant surprises like this. Oh, it's your bye. Also, it's too bad I can only use the dark cannon like one time. I know I was complaining about it, 
but that only applies when you are playing the game without, you know, power leveling. As long as you're stronger than the enemies, you can, you know, just the cannon to blow everything away. Also, you need to have a good amount of hits. Also, I'm not going to finish this episode until, you know, we finish the episode in-game. Uh, How is everyone doing? Oh yeah, before before I forget. Now we are going to do the Star Mage. Yeah! Oh yeah, by by leveling up the, these two, I've been unlocking, you know, the next tier. And you can keep going like that. That's why it's a good idea to level go. As for monsters, you can unlock them by, by defeating them on the item world. For example, I never had a zombie, but since I defeated the other two tiers, I already unlocked it. Uh, I'm surprised, like, uh, the the other dragon class isn't unlocked. I killed one, but I think it's because it's a different class. I, I mean, it's the alternate Overlord team. So that's why it's not a generic class, so it, it didn't get unlocked. But anyways... Yeah, now I can do a skill. Cynthia's a good name, but uh, Malone, Mar, Jill. Oh, I like Jill. Okay, and now Flon can learn star magic. Let us get uh, some equipment for Jill, since we're already here. So yeah, uh, in future games, uh, uh, star magic is uh, an element like with uh, strengths and weaknesses, like the other three elements. But in this game, it's actually the best element. It's a neutral element that is more powerful than ice, fire, and wind. It doesn't like there's no enemy that has a resistance to it. So yeah. Unless the enemy is super resistant to magic. You're all set. Just teach your mage like... Uh, the best star spell you can get. This is not the best Mortus staff you can offer me and you know it. Give me the best one you have. No, I still not the best one. There we go. Was it that hard? And that wasn't even the best one, but I'll take it. Uh, I guess I can give you this orb and... Oh, by the way, you can unlock like other things to sell on the on this shop, on the on the dark assembly. In this case, I unlock like glassware. The uh, the glassware is good because it increases your heat, but also increases your intelligence a little. So, yeah, heat is not only good for you know gun gun wielders, it's also good for actually hitting stuff because you can miss attacks if your hit is very low. Uh, I guess I'll take this one. I think eventually you can unlock orbs, but I don't remember, so don't quote me on that. And I need an armor. Uh, this, oh yeah, this one is okay, it gives me as, as extra SP. Oops, I, I bought the nerd glasses and I already had these opera glasses. Wait, before that, I want to check. Ah, these are better than the... Yeah, should I give it to the thief? I guess. I can give them the rare nerd glasses to Jill. Just to increase her stats a little. And the armor, of course, because we need something to protect ourselves. She's so squishy. There we go. Now let's go. I think this is the final stage. 
as the game progresses, I mean, the the maps keep getting more stages, so this is normal. Prince, is this the heart of evil? That's right. No one's here. Which means... Now hold it right there! Oh. Hey, it's Mythos again! <laughs> what do you want? I'm busy right now. Tsk, tsk, tsk. You weren't thinking of calling yourself the Overlord without first settling things with moi, were you? I already settled things with you. Twice, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Silly you. Did you think that I was serious? Weren't you? Not at all. That was merely camouflage, so that you would let your guard down. Now, you shall witness <laughs> my true power! I have attained ultra speed by training and training and training, all while wearing 100 ton boxers! Too much information, me boss. Can your eyes keep up with moi? Here I come! The throne is mine! Okay, let's go. I think he does have a new attack. I think. Level 22. Ooh, I want to steal that dimensional cave. I mean, it's not the best, but it's legendary. Also, my voice is starting to crack up. So, very sorry for that. I need to get rid of these guys. But they have different weaknesses, so it's going to be, you know, a little hard to do. I think I have an idea. Is that idea using the dark cannon? You're damn right it is! Well, it actually wasn't the idea, but I mean... It's not the worst idea. We tried our best. Okay, now for my idea. So not obstructed, of course. What about here? There we go. Now I just need to, you know, get everyone into position. have to be super careful not to, you know, dip any of your units in the way of the Wing Slayer attack. There we go, you know, I could have put this one, but it's uh, this thing is in the way. I can use the Necromata to kill him. Here I come. And everyone is dead now. There we go. Your move, Mythos. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, he didn't even, like, came for me. Alright, I think it's a good idea to try and get rid of the Dark Cannon now. I can use the Nekomata. There we go. Now I can use Sedna just to lure the enemies. I have the Thief on standby to steal. Oh, 
Oh, also I think it would be a good idea to use the Star Mage, so... Let's uh, move everyone we don't need for now. And summon Geo. Now I can use the Star Magic. But... I need to be closer. And if you are not besides your, you know, apprentice... So... To solve that, there we go. This should kill him, I hope. As for you, ah, you're weak to win, but you don't resist eyes. Oops. That was too little. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we can try to steal your dimensional cave. Also, I need to buy more plunder hands. There we go, see? That was easy. Not like the last time. Let's see how it compares to the steel armor. Yeah, it has better stats. Because it's a legendary item, despite uh, the steel armor being, you know, higher on the rank positioning. Oh, wait. I wasn't looking at the defense, I was looking at the other stats. Whoops! Well, it gives me more speed, so I guess I could give it to the brawler. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Now, to kill me, boss. Okay, now I know, like, how much, like, damage does a star uh, causes to meet boss. In case I wanna, you know, kill him with, with Flon. Now, I, ca I could go here, or I could just return here and get her out again, and that way I get more movement. Out, 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 then Flon, then the Star Mage. No, 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 no. I wanna place Flon. Flon can stay here. Yeah, like this. Wait. Oh, come on. Yeah, because I want, you know, the Star Mage to, to combo with Flon. I have another idea. I'll place you here. I'll use a star just to learn it. Okay. I think a combo should be able to, you know, kill a uh, mid boss. And if Jill participates in it, she might get, like, some experience. As long as she hits. Let's go. Ah, oh well. Sudden stomach cramps. <laughs> Just when I was getting started, I, I beg your pardon, but I need to use the restroom. Right, right. Consider yourselves lucky. You've been spared. Au revoir. 
Ah, that noise, I'm very sorry. I'll try to fix it. I mean, I could, but I would need to buy another screen to connect the laptop to it so the, so the sound comes from the TV, the, the TV screen and that way uh, it will avoid like those sounds, but I don't know. Like once I have the money, away. yeah, sure, uh, I'll buy another screen. Uh, you know, a very cheap one just to... So the audio doesn't sound so crusty. His excuses are getting more and more pathetic. Indeed. Huh? So, is that it? That means... I'm the Overlord! Yeah! Overlord! 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 Hmm, the prince is now the Overlord. It's so hard to believe. Yes. <laughs> Now, now, look at him. He is so happy. He pretends to be evil, but he can be cute sometimes. Oh. You think? Well, he's just a kid, that's all. Oh, by the way, I, I think I explained you before, like, Lahar should, it's supposed to be like 13, because in Demon Gear she's like one, uh, 1,300 and something, and Edna is like 1,400, so she's 14. Flon is actually the oldest member. She's like 15. Anyway, shouldn't you be worried? Huh? What do you mean? You helped the prince become the overlord. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Master Lamington! Master Lamington! Are you here? I totally forgot about you. You make a ruckus every time you are here to see me, Volcanus. What is it this time? How can I not make a commotion? Lahar, the son of King Krachevskoy, has been crowned the new overlord. Hmm. That's not all. That trainee Flan helped him win the throne. Is that so? Oh, this is no longer a case of disobeying orders. This is treason. You are correct. So, what are you planning to do? Hmm. I will need to think about it. Think about it? Think about it, you say? This is a grave matter! We can't just ignore it! I will handle this problem! You have no objections, do you? Oh, dear. What should I do? <laughs> if the Seraph hears of this, there is no telling what punishment awaits me! Indeed. I might be dismissed from my angel trainee position. Who cares? Why don't you change jobs now and become a demon? That is a good idea. No! <laughs> oh, Master Lamington, please guide me. Overlord! 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 Episode 6, The Harsh Challenge. Oh. The evil Empress Etna has sent monsters to take over the world! Oh yeah, because it's Flan. when evil creeps up on people, Flan, the messenger of love, comes to the rescue! The one narrating. As long as evil exists, Flan's battle will never end! Run, Flan! Don't lose heart, Flan! Let the people's cheers bring you courage! Transform! Guardian Flan! Next on Guardian Flan, Warrior of Love, Episode 7, Drop Dead Etna. Always keep love in your heart. <laughs> I always wanted to try this. <laughs> Very cute. Flan, what you doing? Oh, hi, Etna. <laughs> also, I forgot to read, you know, Etna's diary. Okay. Ugh. This was a very long episode. It was like 50% like bigger than my usual episodes. But anyways, we finally got to the end. So yeah, from this point forward, I'm going to be, you know, leveling off screen. But I don't think I'm going to be need to level up for the next episode. I think I'm pretty, you know, ahead of the game at this point. At least for the next episode. So yeah. Uh, enjoy the video please leave a like have something to say comment down below one more please subscribe it's this video ending you can bet it is so thank you so much for watching goodbye